Ain't nobody got time for this countdown timer to count down. So we are getting started. Welcome everybody to the stream. I hope you guys are having a great day. We are going to be playing a little bit more Manufactio today. Mm-hmm. Um, so yesterday we set up our red and green science. But it turns out there was an issue with it. Not only are we drawing too much power, which is causing power fluctuations over here. Um, the way I had set it up in creative mode was it like flip flopped because of reasons. Uh, so we are, we spent a good portion of last live stream getting this thing to work in this incorrect way. This live stream, we're actually going to fix this a little bit. The blocks that makes that sound. Yeah. So we are going to be kind of tearing this down and redoing it. Um, it won't take nearly as long. I don't think as it did last time, since we have all the parts, we just need to like put them in a different order. And I want to get a basement set up so we have a place where we can adjust our redstone. There's some things that I thought about with this setup, and I would like to have some buffer chests um, like this guy. Except for gears, and I want one over here for plates and some other different things. And I want to be able to adjust that so we can have like maybe a stack in one of those, or we could say keep 20 stacks in it. Yeah, so we're going to be doing a little bit of stuff here, reworking this. Um, first things first, we need to like stop the input of items. So I guess I will just break these and just kind of throw them back here for the time being. And this guy. Did that even have anything? Yeah, it's got copper in it. Um, so I need to go through here and like clean all of these belts of all of the items. All right, actually, you know what? We're just going to break the belts. We're just, we're redoing everything here. So we're just tearing everything down. But another thing is, um, I was messing around in creative mode. And I figured out a way to get the gears to work. So I am like super excited for getting that going. And then this will all end up working the way I want it to work in a fairly compact setup. And it's going to be all good. So I'm like ready to get this done. I think I need to go get myself like two more chests or something. Get all this copper in here. Grab that. I don't know why I have blocks of copper, but we'll put those in there for now. Did I test on creative? Yes. Yeah, I spent some time in creative getting things like figured out. Most of this is going to be exactly the same except like flip flopped, but it's just going to be so much easier just to like start from nothing and then place all the blocks down. Um, so like this weird thing, I figured out a better way of doing this. Yep. My brain's firing in all cylinders. <laughs> all right, I think I have my magnet on now. But yeah, the thing is, like, with this setup, we shouldn't need any additional parts. Like, we have all the parts. The only thing we're going to need is just some chests to, like, store all this crap in my inventory for a short amount of time. Let's go get that. Mm -mm -mm. This looks insane. I mean, it's all right. It's all right. Let's grab one of those. We got plenty of storage space. But yeah, I feel like since we've put in a lot of time into this series already, I might as well put in a little bit of extra time to make things the way I want it. All right. Um, belts, plates, 
That can go in there, that's fine. This is all fine. I mean, I guess pretty much all of this stuff, that stays in my inventory. That stays. I think we're also gonna dig a basement as well. Is there anything in this storage crate? No. Goodbye, belts. It's kind of sad seeing all these things like getting torn apart, but I know that this is going to be the way to go, so not too upset about it. Um, all right, is coming in with a four month resub. Welcome back, dude. Thank you for the four months. Appreciate you. Uh, so copper stuff. The only thing that we're not going to be moving, I think, is these two machines and those two. So, like, these will be the same. We'll just have to empty out, like, what's in them. But, like, this is going to be moved over to that side, and that's got to be kind of moved over, and blah, 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 blah. I got a high now. Bye. Okay. Bye. I guess. Uh, one thing that I probably should do is go and get some stone smelting. I think that might be a thing that we need to do at the moment. Let me put these over here. Flappy Walrus says, hey, Hypno, this is my first stream. Well, welcome, dude. Um, I need stone. Yeah, stone, stone, stone. I don't remember if we had these furnaces still set up in here. I think we do. Mandy coming in with a 45-month Resub, goodness, Mandy. Thank you so much for the 45. That's a lot of months. Cool, cool. I have no, you're the best. I really like Manufactia. Well, I'm glad you like it, dude. I like it too. This does not appear to be running. Uh oh. Not enough energy. Okay, let's go get that other steam boiler turned on now before we have some real issues. One. Two, three. I think I'm gonna grab a little bit more too, just in case. Um, one one dog J just resubbed. Eleven dog J just subbed for two months. Welcome back. Thank you for the two months of support. Let's get this one going. Then we will do this and that. Cool. So is our power issues now solved? 
This is no longer flickering. Is this doing its thing? This is doing its thing. Perfect. Okay. Okay. 49er with the 47 month resub. Welcome back, dude. Hashtag feed Max. Thanks for the user entertainment. You're welcome, my dude. Appreciate your support. And Kitsu. Kitsun Lord or Kitsune Lord uh, with a Twitch Prime sub. Welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Why are we getting pollution over here right now? What the heck? Get out of here, pollution. Nobody likes you. Literally, nobody likes you. I'm not sure where that came from. How's this? That. Uh, Mr. Nightmare with a 13 month resub. Welcome back, dude. Thank you for the 13. Mm -mm. Delete, delete. Okay, so how is this doing in here? This needs about a half a stack more. And we only have 16. That's gonna have to do. Okay, this. All right, so let's go grab our excavator and start digging the basement area of this other building that I said I wasn't gonna do because I didn't have a plan to do that, but now we kind of feel like we should do it. So we're going to. Do I know why some YouTubers show their face on Twitch, but not on YouTube? I, I, have, I don't know every YouTuber out there. Believe it or not, just because I do YouTube does not mean that I know every YouTuber. So no, I don't know why. I assume it's personal preference. How far back does this go? That this far? It's right here. This is going to be ending. Oh, no. That's right. There's a little bit of a mountain here. Um, all right. It's with 150 bits. Thank you for the bits, dude. I think Max needs the very good whiskers. Thank you for the 150. I'll make sure Max eats like a king. I mean, he already does. Let's be honest here. Can't say no to his cute and fluffy face. Um, call Ron with a 10 month resub. Welcome back, dude. Thank you for the 10. I'm gonna have to go and grab myself a, um, a hammer. It's hammer time. What am I building today? We are kind of redoing what we did yesterday the way that I wanted it to be done originally, but because of issues, we didn't build it that way. But yeah, we are rebuilding red and green science today. Uh, so I need the hammer and I think I'm going to need another excavator. Do I have three diamonds in this thing? We have to go get a block. I do sweet you know what? i'm just gonna build a second one uh wood dude we have to go farm some wood i'm not happy about that mm -mm -mm. I haven't seen Max in a long time though. Maybe I got rid of Max. Maybe I decided I didn't like Max anymore and I got rid of him. Do you ever feel 
Oh, where am I going? This is the end of the building right here. For some reason, I was expecting to see grass like this right there. But, uh, no. No, that's, that's not how that works. The boss is busy with boss stuff. Yeah, Max, um... <clears throat> he, like, gets in these routines where he will do something over and over and over again. And then, like, after a few months, he gets tired of doing that same thing. And he does something different over and over and over again. So, like, previously when we were streaming, every time I had started up the live stream, he'd be like, Oh, let's go say hi to everybody. And then he got bored of doing that, I guess. And... Now when I start streaming is like in the middle of his sleepy time, his midday sleepy time. Which you could have a midday sleepy time, become a cat. You can do anything you put your mind to. Uh, the basement, we are opening this up so we can do our redstone wiring a little bit easier and run some belts a little bit easier. Instead of being super cramped and trying to figure out how to place this belt and navigate around these machines and things along those lines, yeah, we are going to uh, run this in a way that gives us a little bit more room and understanding of what's going on. This is the part of this build that I didn't even consider when I was doing this in creative. I was like, yeah, getting the redstone, that'll be easy. You just gotta do this and this and this, but like trying to actually do that is not as easy as it sounded like. So we're just opening up some room here so we don't have to have like super cramped stuff and then we can figure this all out. Um, so I need to drop off stuff in my inventory. All right. <clears throat> this is going to be a dungeon just for you, Nighthawk, just for you. Um... So I got like all this resume in inventory. I didn't know that I had. Let's put this away. Okay. So I also need to fill in this area back here. I dug this way too far back. I decided that I'm buying a new mouse. I'm tired of this mouse. Like I, I thought I had struggle bust through it. And just get used to the new, well, get used to the middle mouse click on this G903 mouse. But you know, I've had this mouse now, I don't know, four months, six months. And like, I'm still not used to the stupid button and it is driving me crazy. So I'm getting like the 503 or whatever. Another Logitech mouse.
New mouse for Max. Yeah, Max can play with the mouse. How did I get coarse dirt? Weird. Weoed. I don't think I need salt for anything. Just delete that. And before I need it for like all the things. Um. I need the stone. That's what I need. In fact, I should probably go grab a bunch more stone to replace because those are probably done smelting. And most likely, I'm going to need more when that's done. Sweet. Uh, so this is all being turned into stone brick. Cool. No, it's it's got the charging mouse pad. I believe that's light speed is what it's called or whatever, right? I could be wrong. There's like a couple different versions of that mouse, apparently. For some reason. I'm hoping it's gonna solve the issue with the mouse button. If I get this new one and it's got a crappy mouse button, middle mouse click, I'm gonna be super upset. Like, I might freak out upset. Oh, screwed up. There's a G900 that was launched before release of the Lightspeed technology and the 903 with Lightspeed. There's also the 503, I think, with and without Lightspeed? And I got the one with the Lightspeed. But I'm using the, the 900? Oh, I need... I don't have the building gadget. I don't want to place every one of these blocks by hand. Maybe it's a 502? Maybe it's 502. I don't know. Whatever. Why are we talking about Star Wars? Last time I checked, nothing that we were talking about has anything to do with Star Wars. But good effort, though, on trying to pay attention to the conversation.
Ah, I knew we were gonna run out. Oh, I still got a little bit more. It's not over yet. So if I get rid of this junk here, which we don't need anymore, we won't need any of this. We'll have enough. There we go. So now the next thing is we need to make sure this is all lit up so we're not gonna spawn mobs down here. Good enough. All right, let's get out. Uh, Actually, let's build a staircase just so I don't have to keep breaking the floor every time. Oh, that's not where the staircase goes. I might have to fill in some of this. There we go. Um, Nigel coming in with a two month resub. Welcome back. Thank you for the two months, dude. Appreciate you. All right, uh, so this block can go back here. How many more of these stone bricks? Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's just start tearing this crap down. I fall down. We're reworking. We're going to rework this setup. I know I just built it yesterday. And the last thing you guys want to see me do is tear it down. But we, we got to do it. We have to do it for my sanity. And, th and that's pretty much it, just for my sanity. <laughs> It'll, it'll be better when we put this back together again, trust me. We have all the parts, it's just like refitting everything and just rerunning some stuff. It's not going to be like a really huge time sink here, but it's going to take a little bit of time for us to get it back up and running. But when we do, it'll be much better. So I think this stays, however, this stuff goes. We need to empty these out because this is going to be flip flopped. This was red, but that is now going to be green. This is red over here. This one's going to be green. I like how this belt has so many belts on it, yet I can't see any of them. Oh, actually, I guess I can a little bit. Interesting. Uh, Silver Lightning with 100 bits. Thank you for the 100 bits, dude. Much better or more better? Much better er 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 er. Much more better er er.
It's gonna be more bestus er. Yeah, those dad jokes, though. All right, so that is everything. Let's go clear my inventory of all the extra stuff. I guess we can get rid of these since we don't have the machines around that those are sitting on. Almost ready to get this party started. So that all can go in here. Don't need that or that. Uh, we'll probably need that extra inserter and I don't think we need this guy anymore. And we'll go put this away and just keep it charged up over here. Okay. How is this doing? 32. Do you guys see they released Death Stranding for PC today? I know there's somebody out there that's a little hype for that. Let's also check the one downstairs too. Number seven, you want some tasty triangles? All right, so these dirty ones go over here. These guys can go back in here for now. All right, so everything's taken care of over here as far as like needing our immediate attention. Let's get back to building. Maruski with a 37 month resub. Welcome back, Maruski. Thank you so much for the 37 months. Thanks for dropping that tier two support as well. That's super awesome. Let's make sure these are all empty. Oop, that's not empty. Okay, so that's empty. I'm gonna start again with a clean slate. And now we have room underneath to work. Okay, very good. Whew. Okay, so new thing is we need to get, we need to get these modular machines set up. Oh, I don't have the capsule over here. I need to go get the capsule for the um, the standard assembler and for the press. Melon Lover says, Hypno, I started playing modded and I'm really enjoying it. Well, awesome, dude. Uh, assembler. <laughs> the streamer typed ass. Um, press. Oh, are these? How is the coal in these doing? Yeah, we should probably re up the coal in there. Stop moving! Hehe, <laughs> streamer funny.
Hey, it's not my fault that that creeper is like bobbing and weaving. This isn't bully the streamer. Come on. Stop stop bullying me. Now what a spider? Dude, these bullets travel so slowly. That doesn't go in there. It can go in there, but it doesn't go in there. That's why Nighthawk always had to carry us in PUBG. Whatever. Get out of here. Like, literally leave. Oh, I need inserters. Okay, so this one we need the orange facing to the left. And this has to be... Two blocks? Two blocks. So one, two, place orange. I have to left click twice. There we go. Azuma Raid. Welcome, Raiders from Azuma's channel. Hope you guys had an excellent live stream over there. Why did my preview stop playing? That's weird. Randy Nicole with a 23 month resub. Welcome back, dude. Thank you for the 23. Much appreciated. This one, we need the orange facing it. So undo, click, redo. Sweet. And then this one, the orange. So we need to do. Oh, 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 oh. We need to do a one, two, three, boop. Perfect. Perfect. So that should be all of the modular machine blocks. Yeah, so how was Azuma stream? What were, we, what were we streaming? Doing some Hermitcraft probably? We're doing some modded here. This mod pack, if you haven't seen this before, is like Factorium. I know Azuma likes some Factorium. Um, but yeah, we're trying to get our red and green science building up and running at the moment. And we built it, and then we unbuilt it, and then we built it again, but because I built it a little bit incorrectly in creative mode, um, due to reasons, like we are tearing it down and rebuilding it. So, at least I have like a diagram of what I'm gonna be building. So there's that. So I need three of these. That's facing correctly. I need to get the hammer so I can boop this, boop, boop. And then one more, boop, one more. Think that's right? That looks right. Okay. Yeah, and then we gotta do nine more of these. Hermitcraft Nether Chores. Stray Confusion just subbed to the channel. Welcome, Stray Confusion. So one, two, three, four blocks back. I need to place nine more of these guys. So that's one, two, three, four. There's our first one. Whoa, what did that change? Boop, boop. I need to move this. This is in the way. Okay, so we got two. Can't, un oh, I don't want to undeploy. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, and nine. Whew, that's a lot of these guys. Oh, this this is wrong. This is from our old setup. This is going away as well. Okay, so hopefully we get all of that set up correctly, and then I go over two more spaces, and then I need one more. One, two, boop. 
And then two spaces in front of this one is our final one. Oh, okay. So that should be all of these machines. Now it's just running the belts, getting the power hooked up and all of that stuff. What's a small light source? So this is a glowstone block. These are called glowstone nooks. So there's a saw that you can take a block and chop it in half and chop it in half and chop it in half or whatever. And this is 1 32nd of a block. It's a piece of glowstone and still emits the same amount of light as a full glowstone block. We're just using it because like torches are not allowed in this pack. It's kind of like a workaround. Off by that much, yep. Okay, uh, we can get all these presses in place. We need one of those. Why do I have two of these? I'm not sure why I have two of those. I think we only need one. Did I just duplicate a, a something or other here? I might have just duplicated. So this is gonna be copper plates and turn into a copper wire. Then we got gears. Oh, I didn't place, yes I did. Gear, gear, gear. I did duplicate. I totally duped these. We only have three gear presses. Somehow I had six of those and we had two of the other ones. So that means we got way more of these metal press molds. Hmm. I need to put these other winds away because we only need... only need these. Unintentional duping. Uh, Matt, with a 27-month reset. Welcome back, dude. Look more compact than yesterday's setup. This is literally exactly the same as yesterday's, except, like, without the workarounds that we had to do because these structures were flipped in my creative mode, and so they wouldn't work. This, but this setup is, like, exactly the same. Literally exactly the same. Uh, so we have a belt, a redstone belt. It's time to get all this stuff going. Redstone belt that goes right here. So that's going to be an inserter. And then this belt, this belt. Then we have inserters here. Where's my inserters? Are they in my inventory? So then we have inserter. And then this will be our input. So copper is going to go here. Redstone is going to go here. And then we have another belt, I think facing this way with a hopper on top of that and an inserter going into that hopper. And then inserter inserting into that. So that's going to place down single iron ingots, which are going to be turned into plates through all of these guys and these inserters. Whoops. These inserters will grab those. Come on, Magnet. No, give it. There it is. Got it. Oof. Okay, so we have all this. Now, this is where things are changed up a little bit. Um, yeah, so these three over here are special. These are going to go on its own belt. I think that ends right here. So I have a chest right here with an inserter that's pulling off that chest onto this belt. Then we have a belt right here and a belt right here with an inserter that is taking off this belt and putting onto this one. And same thing on this side. All right, let's grab our chest. Um, we can use this guy. Uh, right. Boop, 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 boop. This guy goes right here. Then we have two hoppers from the other ones going into that from either side. 
Hopper. Hopper. And then off this, we do another inserter. So this will feed inserters onto this. Hey, you give me that back. Stop stealing my stuff. That'll feed iron plates from these three into this chest. This insert will grab it, put it onto this belt. And then those will run along here. These inserters will grab them off that belt and put them into these machines. And some of them will continue on along over here. And I believe into the very first one right here. And then we have an inserter grabbing off the end and onto this belt. Okay, so this is the setup so far. I know this is complicated for those of you who haven't seen this pack before. In case you're wondering, I, I did this in creative and I have like an image that I'm going by. That's why I keep looking over there. I've already built this in creative, so I know it all works, but it's just a matter of getting this all set up again. Uh, so now we're dealing with the other plates. Okay, so this part has changed from yesterday's setup. This is the gears. Um, so we are doing insert, insert, inserter. So this will be our belts. Then this will turn this way. And then go this way. Then it turns over here and back around like so. Actually, this belt's wrong. This belt goes like this. And I think this belt's wrong too. I think this belt goes like this. All right, so these come along here. And this is actually going to be a chest. This is where things are different than it was yesterday. I need to go get myself a regular chest. What's this setup going to be producing? Red and green science. Treated wood. I'm going to make a couple of these because I think I'm going to need more than one. Uh, hello, Clevis. Is anyone else getting a stuttering to where Hypno is repeating himself? Don't think so. Okay, so now I need six hoppers facing downwards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's this is our new gear loop. This is different than what we had yesterday. Well, I guess this is not gear loop. This is for the iron plates, which will turn into gears. So this should grab them off that belt. Uh, actually, I think this is over one more than it should be. I think we do this. There we go. I wonder. I wonder if I even need to do this. Can I just not merge this belt onto this belt right here and just have it loop this way instead of looping all the way over there and back? I bet I can. Maybe I don't need to do this. Maybe I can literally just do this. I keep changing this setup as I'm implementing it because it is different than what I'd originally thought about, but I think that might work better. That way there's less stuff on this belt for periods of time. Moxie coming in with a Twitch Prime sub. Welcome, dude. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate you. Yeah, you know what? I think that'll work, right? Let's give this a test. Let's just throw something on there. Like a hopper or, I don't know, just whatever. So that'll loop around. Yeah, and that comes back. Then this guy grabs it, puts it back on the belt. Perfect. That's what I wanted to see. Give me that back. Okay. So that is our new plate loop to turn into gears. 
And then over here, these, we're gonna have another thing here, hopper from that one into here, hopper from that one into here. Okay, so after that, our gears, actually, I guess that's slightly different, but it's fine. We can do it this way. Uh, so that needs to go over into here. Inserter. Okay, so off that, that's gonna go into this one as well. So we need belt bell inserter. And it also goes into this one. So we need belt oops, inserter. I think that's right. So that belt, we have the input, one output, one output, and then it terminates in there. Yeah, so that looks like that's correct. So off of this one, we need to get a belt that goes right here. Inserter from that one, uh, other way. So whenever this makes something, this will grab that thing, put onto this belt, and that comes over here. This also needs an item into this slot here. Which I am doing this, this, and then we're going down underground. And I believe... That is coming from the output of this machine right here, which doesn't have anywhere, anywhere to put its stuff. So off this, we need a hopper facing straight down, which is gonna go onto a belt. And that is gonna be carried along over to this guy. Like I so. Belt, 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 whoop. Belt. Okay, I think that's all we needed to do. That should be all we need to do to get that to work. All right. A Juven with 1,000 bits random distraction. Juven, thank you so much for the 1,000 bits, dude. Appreciate it. You haven't seen any other lives, so what's going on? What's he making? We are setting up a really complicated process. Well, it's not really complicated. It looks really complicated. We're setting up a process to take iron, turn them into plates, turn those plates into gears, turn those gears into red science with some copper ingots. And those gears are also in the production of making conveyor belts and inserters, which are going into green science. Uh, these labels are incorrect. This is now red science here since we are flip-flopping. Red science. And this one is green science. Aha. So this will be our inserter. This will be our conveyor belt. Um, the only other thing that we don't have hooked up here as far as belts go is our copper. So our copper is going to be coming from a chest that's going to be sitting right here, I guess. And that needs to go onto a belt. So we'll have an inserter right here and then we'll have a belt here actually no this all goes down one more belt belt hopper uh inserter so this will be a chest this is going to be our copper input one of these that'll be this block right here so this belt needs to run i need to fix this that belt needs to run all the way over. All the way over to this. So we're gonna run this underground. Hmm, how do I do this? 
this. Okay, so that's our copper belt. And that needs to be all the way over here. Will that connect? We have to remove. I guess I remove that and then I do this. Boom. So these belts will probably have to be changed a little bit as we implement our redstone control so we're not overflowing. All right, well, that's hooked up now. Cool. Can't I just hop her under the chest? Mm. Yes. Yes, I can. Uh, the reason why I'm not doing that is because in this current setup, I'm gonna be using these wooden storage crates so I can move resources back and forth. And if I have a hopper underneath this and I go and break this chest, that's gonna go into the hopper, onto the belt, and then I gotta go and find it. That's the reason why I, didn't, I decided not to do that actually. Kinda like this inserter. Come back, no! They grab it? I don't know. I grab my... That inserter is going to end up over here eventually. But yeah, that's why I'm not doing that. Okay, so... With this all done... I th think we're ready to start working on the redstone portion of this. Lag, you can adjust the quality options if your internet cannot handle the stream. I'm a Twitch partner, I have quality options, feel free to use them. I think that is... I think that's what we need. So it's these first three over here. We need to get the redstone off of this and figure that out. So I need to grab the things. these redstone probe things. Oh, I also need this, and I'm probably gonna need some redstone dust. I don't think I'm gonna need that, but I'm gonna grab it anyway, just so I don't have to make another trip back. And we have blocks. Okay, I think that should be all that we need. So these first three, we need to get the redstone off this, compare it, and then decide what we're doing. How long have I been on Twitch, Curious? Um, I think as a Twitch partner, the second time around. How long has it been, guys? I think we just had somebody get a four year sub. I think. So that's an output, output, output. And that's gonna be based off of the, off of this one. So we are sending white and we're going to send that down to this guy directly below me. Right? Yep. You to you. And then we want to take that and go, I don't know, one, two, three. As soon as we go three away, then we can say that's good enough. So I'll place that here. This is gonna be an input. I need this guy. So we're outputting onto here. We're inputting into this one, and this one is gonna give the redstone to these guys, which I'll turn them off. 
Alright, so all of these guys need to be hooked together. These all need to be outputs. Oh, rest of them inverted, not inverted. Output. And this, these six need to be controlled off of something else. You had a 47 month today, but I'm pretty sure I had a 53 month sub hypnome. Um, I think some of the subs that I have are from people who either have kept their sub like when I unpartnered or they have prepaid. I know you can pay ahead, which is kind of weird, but I know you can pay ahead. All right, so this is the one that we need the probe on. Oh, uh, Redstoner1258 with a Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, dude, for the sub. Sorry, I'm like super focused mode right now, just trying to get this done. We spent all last live stream doing this, and now I'm kind of like tearing it down and redoing it, but I'm doing it the proper way this time. Really want this thing done. So that's going to be an output. We need to take that three away. We can use one of these guys. And then that is going to be an output. And that's going to connect to this to turn those off. Okay. Yep. Uh, this one we also need to do as well. That's the, the copper. How did I unpartner? So I became a Twitch partner earlier on. And then YouTube Gaming came out, and Google YouTube sent me an email, and they're like, hey, we're doing YouTube Gaming. Come on over here and stream with us, and if you do so many hours per week, we'll promote you and this and that. And it turned out to be pretty hot garbage. Like, nobody goes there to watch live streams. So I canceled. Um... How do I want to say that? So I canceled with them and I I like stopped streaming for about six or nine months after that. And then I came back to Twitch. But like Twitch in the partner contracts, if you're a Twitch partner, you are not allowed to stream on other services. So because I decided to go to YouTube Gaming to try them out, I had to cancel my Twitch partnership. Okay, so this hopper right here is what I want to read off of. And this one is actually going to control our plates. So we do that. It's going to be exact same setup here. And uh, not that. These guys, that. And... That'll be fine. Actually, we should probably do this a different way. Six, seven, eight. Right here. That'll be fine. That could be a little bit more full. It's not a big deal. All right. So this one is going to be an input. This one needs to be an output. This one is an input. Output. Output. Oh, that's not right. That's input. Okay. So this one connects to the thing that I don't have set there. This guy. And that should be set to an output. Okay. I think we are now set as far as the redstone control goes for our plates and our wires. We have our belts ran. So power is the next thing that we need to get hooked up. I'm missing one wire on the probe. Wait, what? Oh, you're right. herp a derp herp a derp Yeah, with this setup down here, like we can just extend out the redstone as long as we want and then like control how many items are going to stay in the chest. 
Or we can get a little bit more fancy, use comparators and do like subtract and blah, 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 blah. Um, but anyway, that'll give us a little bit more control over saying, hey, I want this hopper completely full or hey, I only want two stacks in this hopper or hey, I want to have 20 stacks in this chest over here of iron plates, etc. So that'll be pretty good. Uh, we still need something there. And I think, I think a single spot chest is going to be just fine for that. We just need something to bridge that gap. And fill those in. I don't know if there's any other gaps around here. Yeah, we got gaps right here that can be filled in. Okay, I think we are ready for power connectivity. Why do I have a loop? Is it bad to have it just stay on the belt? The problem with the, the reason why we have this loop over here is because we are taking iron plates and turning them into iron gears. If I leave these on the belt, sometimes you'll only get one item on the belt and the inserter won't be able to combine that one item with another one item and then that'll block the belt up and eventually the belt will just fill with just one item stacks. It's kind of weird how it works, but trust me, Unless there's two items in a stack, this inserter won't be able to grab it off the belt and put it over here. So eventually this belt will clog. So we have this kind of looping around. So like this inserter that's pulling all of our iron plates from this chest will always be able to pull like the maximum amount and just have at least eight flowing around that these three can grab from. I wish I didn't have to do it that way. It's probably not great that that will be running all the time, but I don't expect that's going to cause too much lag. Is that why I stopped posting stream announcements to YouTube? No, I stopped posting stream announcements to YouTube a little while ago when there was a thing going on that uh, if you were redirecting people from YouTube off site, then YouTube would like strike your channel and this and that. It got further explained that like, as long as the purpose of your video isn't just a link to like tell people to leave YouTube, like if you do a talk, like, like Azuma does, if you do a talkie thing and say what's going on and that you're live streaming, that's okay. I just haven't gone back into that yet. Um, I think, yeah, let's start hooking up power. We'll get everything going and then we'll find out if I derped and forgot something. I think we should be good though. I hope we're good though. Power, 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 power. This needs a power. That needs a power. That needs a power. So all of these power connectors that I have up here probably are going to be redone again as well since I had these set up for the way the system was. And now it is slightly modified. I'm going to want to redo these. Not only am I trying to keep the machines orderly, I'm trying to keep our power to the machines orderly. So we're not having like spaghetti wires everywhere. That's the one thing I don't want. Okay, those two are fine the way they are. So let's get this figured out over here. So every three of these machines, we're gonna have, oops, we're gonna have one of those. So those three and these three. And then these three. And that one goes straight down, so that's fine. We can connect this up. Mm hmm. And then we gotta connect between those. Okay, very good. Uh, so these three over here need one. Oh, 
All right. So we have... I don't remember how I had this one set up, but I feel like I have two of these. I'm sure I didn't have that running over here. I think I was sharing one between these two or three. I think we're just going to put it in line here. I think that's probably the way we had that set up. So that would go here, here, here. Then I'm sure we just connect these two together. Okay, so those are done. And then this one. Is that the only other one? I think that's the only other one. So this will probably just be right above it somewhere. Right there. Okay. I think I had it neater before. I'm not really sure what I did differently, but that's fine. Good enough. Okay, so there's still a few more things that we have to do before we can start putting in resources. Some of these machines require a template item. So we need a template item for inserter, a template item for conveyor belts. We need a template item for the red and green science. So green's gonna be on this one. And then red's gonna be on this one. Okay, conveyor belts come from this guy. So I think we put the conveyor belt into here and then inserters come from this one. I think that's our free spot. Wait, no, 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 no. Uh, this is our spot. So I see that we did miss something over here. Do I really not have enough inserters? I need something that's grabbing from here and putting into here. I need another inserter there. Maybe I have one in here. No. How do I not have enough inserters? There's a little extra inserters. Do, 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 do. Okay, so inserter from there to there. This also needs. Nope, no, no, that doesn't need anything. And that is our belts that are going. I think that was all that we needed. I think that was it. We were just missing the one inserter. I th oh, this doesn't have redstone attached to it. This needs redstone attached to it. That we're done with the redstone. We are not almost done though. Almost done. One last one last thing. We need the gears. Now I want the gear separate from the plates. I think last live stream we were tying them together or whatever. Like I said we were gonna and them together. I meant that we were gonna or them together, but even still, I want these done separately. That way we can say only hold three stacks of plates, but hold 20 stacks of gears. Or 20 stacks of plates and two stacks of gears. And I can go and grab like, you know, 10 stacks of plates and get out of here. And if the plates are being turned off by the gears, and if I don't take any gears out, then we're never gonna restock the plates. Yeah, these I want these done independently of each other. So we need this guy to here. This needs to be an output. And then that is going to control 
these guys right here. Alright, so we need one, two, three. Those all need to be outputs. And this. Something like that will be fine. Then we can put the other guy right here. That's going to be an input, which is what it's set to by default. And then we do that, that, that. Actually, not that this matters, but we will connect that to the center. Okay. I think that's, I think that's literally it for the logic now. All right, Term, we'll see you later, dude. Thanks for hanging out. At this point, I think we're good. I think everything's set up. Did I miss anything, chat? I think we can hook this up. Let's get the redstone going. But you know what I probably should do before I start putting all the raw resources? Taking all of the resources that this has already made and filling up stuff so we're not like making more i'm missing one wire between science part and the rest of the machines what oh you're talking power wire okay we'll we'll, we'll get that Power wire. I have two power wires. Am I missing another one or did I run the wires weirdly previously? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out if there's something else. Oh, there was an insert that fell onto that conveyor belt and that would be over here. That was my missing inserter. Um, so the inserters are going to be going into... They're being made from here. So they're going to be going into here. So I'll just go ahead and fill that up right now. And then on this one, this should be conveyor belts. I don't have any conveyor belts on me. Uh, so this is our gear chest. Let's go ahead and drop all the gears here. And those will find homes where they should go. Once these machines fill up with the three stacks they need and then the extra on the belt over there, it'll filter to these other ones. And then plates go here. See, that's the only loop that we're going to have. This guy is always just going to do this. And if there's a way that we could turn this off with a redstone signal, I would do it that way. But I think this will be fine. Like, I don't expect that's going to cause much lag at all. All right. So redstone was in this chest and that goes here. Copper is going to be the other one that's going to take a long time to filter through everything. So let's get copper going. Did I hook this up incorrectly? If I do this as a stop. Oh yeah, that stops that machine over there, okay.
What are you guys talking about? I missed the molds. Were you guys not here with paying attention? Or are you talking about something that I have no idea what you're talking about? Let's go grab three more stacks of iron blocks. Mm -mm. Iron blocks at the very beginning. Yeah, the molds in the chest, if that's what you're talking about, those were duplicated when I broke the presses with the hammer. I don't know why they duplicated, but those are extra. I'm not sure how many plates go in here before this thing stops itself, but when I was testing this in creative, like when the gears are going and the plates are going, like these would keep going and then they'd pause for like, I don't know, maybe one second and keep going. So this runs slightly faster than the gears for some reason. I'm not sure what the discrepancy is. I guess I could probably put speed upgrades on this or these or maybe both. Oh, that's so sad. This one keeps trying to go and grab it, but then there's just nothing there. I wonder, maybe if I put like that over here and had the belt running this way, it would give this one more of a chance. I don't know. Okay, so these all stopped, and now they're going because he needs more, but then they stop again. And these only run when this needs more plates. So I never checked to see if everything else is working. So we're backing up on gears, which is good. We're missing an input item. We have plates, we have gears. What's the input item? They're not put, we have a belt in there? Plate, gear. Ah, that'll do it. So now we should be making belts. Those belts should be coming up here. We can see them kind of from the side. Those are filtering to this. This machine should be taking inserters with the belts and turning those into green science. And then the green science gets processed into green research. Oh, I forgot the two hoppers. No, I forgot the one hopper. Do we have an extra hopper somewhere? I don't see a hopper. Oh, these belts? I should also put these over here. Oh, we're backed up. Maybe I can't put them over here.
I'm just gonna try and fill up as much as I can. Oh, we could probably fill these in the hopper down below. Actually, let's go do that. I am missing a green circuit pattern. You are absolutely right. Good call, good call. That's weird that you can see the conveyor belt from the bottom side, but you can't see it from the top. <laughs> yes, I am absolutely missing the green circuit. That's why we're not making these inserters. So this machine right here needs a pattern, which is this guy. Now this will run. There we go. Okay, so now we're making inserters. Look at how tiny they are. So tiny. How am I controlling the presses with redstone? You think you missed something. So for instance, these three presses right here make gears. We're using a redstone probe, which is essentially a comparator to detect how much is in here. So this is emitting like a redstone signal of three or something. What is this? A redstone signal of two. So we are sending that down here. This is emitting that redstone signal into vanilla redstone dust. So we got power two, power one, and then zero, zero, right? So once this gets a redstone signal, this will take that redstone signal and put it into the bottom of these three right here that are actually making the gears. So this signal will eventually go up the more gears that we have in that chest or the more stuff that's in there. So like if I come in here and I put in these blocks, which aren't supposed to be in here, like this redstone signal gets extended more. Eventually it'll turn itself off from making gears because it'll have too much stuff in there. But it's essentially the same way in everything. So these six right here are making those iron plates. And you see the redstone is zero, so now they're running, now it's one, so they stop. All depending on how much stuff is in this chest. So I don't know, yeah, we should be making an excess of these inserters. I think we make these faster than you can make green science. Maybe. Oh, you know what? I think we're gonna run into a problem with this over here, possibly. Why is that not? Is this outputting a redstone signal to the hopper up above? That might be the problem. I think I forgot to change that. Yeah, okay. So now we're making more circuits. Yep, my mistake. But anyway, what I was gonna say is I think we're gonna have a problem here with this. I think we need to add in two more of these copper presses. Uh, because this is making two wires at a time and we need three wires for every green circuit that we're making. So this has to run twice most of the time for every one circuit. And I think this will slow us down. So if we add in another set of these machines, I think that will fix that and then we'll have an excess of that. And that's, it's fine if we have too much. And like we're waiting on the other machine to process. But for waiting on these, I think that is a problem. The probes lock the hoppers if you set the output of the same colors that you're reading. I think that's the only hopper we're reading from. So that's the only one I should have to change.
Yeah, I think that's the only hopper. Yeah, I think we're fine. I am missing that other hopper. I have to go make one. Let me go grab a gear. Or I can... I can make half a stack of hoppers. Oh, I can't even make half a stack of hoppers. What am I talking about? We have to go farm up wood. Let's just, let's just make one. Yeah, we have to go farm wood. What mod is this? In the title of the mod pack, my dude, or title of the live stream, my dude. Our last oak wood. I don't even have enough to make a hopper. I'm stealing this chest. Fight me. Stolen. It's stolen. I like seeing these things backing up on the belt, though. How am I so fast? Uh, this bandit armor from Tech Guns increases my movement speed. Move speed plus 12.5% for every piece. So if I take off three pieces, I move just a little bit faster than normal. But with each piece on, I move pretty fast. Uh, resources here. Redstone. And we are out of iron. So this is a thing that we're going to have to figure out. Maybe not right the second, but we will have to figure that out. Let's go grab two more stacks of iron. The science chests are fine being the amount that they are. I want them to fill up and stop, and then we can grab the science or the research and use it as we need it. I don't think there's any reason to make them just go infinitely. But I would like to get the 27 stacks, just fill up the single chest full. So I think it was worth the time to get this thing going. It seems like everything is just working correctly now, which is awesome. This is the only thing I'm not liking because this one keeps trying to go grab the item, but it's out of its range. I think we need to change this. I think we can do, we can do that real easy. It's just going to be a little less compact. We'll just do this. This one should always have enough time to grab that item though. Our gear belt's almost backed up too, so...
Maybe. I mean, we're definitely backing up on gears a little bit. Yeah, maybe this does need a speed upgrade in it. No, those machines do not produce pollution. I think in the last version of the mod pack they did, but not in this one. Uh, that's easy. Let's grab all those resources from over here. I don't have the crafting tables so have to run here and then run back again, but oh, dang it. But it'll be easy enough. So it is an inserter and then green circuits. And then half a stack of green circuits. Oh, I don't have any green circuits. Yeah, I need to tell this machine to stop making inserters for a little bit. This one. What is this terminator making plant? Y what? Yeah, m maybe? What? You grab some of this iron. There's no cyan. Hopefully that will make these things not wait any time at all now. Yeah, we're going to speed up these things. I think that's probably just going to be a good idea. Do I have enough iron? I should have enough. You don't know why I only play easy mod packs? Okay, and that should be a little bit better, I think. How many of these do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we'll speed you up, speed you up. I don't think that's going to go faster than that hopper can go. Yeah, 
Okay, how many more of these do we have? 16, so I need a total of eight inserters. We'll make some more speed upgrades. You can't speed them up anymore. They can only go one speed upgrade. You can put two speed upgrades in them, but they only go faster with one. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> I might have to change this so it is not putting that into a hopper, but putting it onto the belt directly. That way we have stacks of eight in each one of these. I might do that. Let's see what it is. They're holding the speed upgrade, that's funny, yeah. Let's speed you up. Um, I'm not sure these guys need any upgrades. We're not backing up here, so I don't think that needs any upgrades. These are all speed upgraded. We're full here. That doesn't look like that needs upgrades. This doesn't need upgrades. Um, I guess we can start making inserters again. I think we are fully upgraded with everything that we need to upgrade at the moment. Yeah, copper wires is the only thing, so we need to do two more of these presses and get these all hooked up. I don't know how we are going to do that. Oh, I guess that'd be simple. We just turn this belt over one. Yeah, that, that's going to be real simple to do. Let's just change this up right now. So we'll do that. So then we need two more metal presses, another single spot chest, an inserter. And then one hopper. And then of course the redstone control underneath which we'll get once we get these so let's make two more of these machines uh in order for us to make pistons we need we need wood I am going to need the metal press one. Piston? 
Okay, we have piston, redstone, we have those. Heavy engineering. Dude, I need one more. Uh, we need conveyor belts. Steel scaffolding. Okay. Heavy engineering block. We made some of these yesterday. I don't remember what the recipe was. Is this seam? Oh no, you get one extra if you do it this way. So two pistons, two steel, mechanical components. So we have to make another one of those. Piston. Electrum. We need four steel plates. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? So four steel plates, electrum, piston, then we need two steel mechanical components. So a steel mechanical component. Well, we can just craft a, like this expensive way. Copper. Dang, I don't have any copper ingots. What the heck? I guess I'll go grab some from the box over here. We don't have digital storage. I would love to have digital storage. We don't have digital storage yet. It is in this pack, but it's like way end game. And we are kind of like just barely entering mid game here. Standard assembler, so you, 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 you. What is digital storage mod? Uh, yeah, it's a mod that will like apply to logistics or refined storage. It's a mod that'll take items that are stored like this. Well, I guess stored in a chest like this and put it into something that looks a little bit more like this, except it'll take all of these stacks of granite, for instance, and just combine them into one stack and say you have a thousand of them. And it gets stored onto discs instead of stored in physical item form. Um, so I think we are ready to go. Okay, so this needs to go here. And this one needs to go here. I am going to use these duped items because we have them, I need them, and I don't really care. <laughs> I didn't dupe them on purpose, but they're duped. Actually, do I want to place that yet? I think I need want to get the redstone control hooked up first. I also need to get the power hooked up too. You get a power connector, you get a power connector. You go there, you go there. Okay, let's get these things, the redstone control. So I don't think we really have to do anything that special other than just connect this to this one. Everything else should work exactly the same. Did I, oh, I didn't bring the stupid redstone wire. Oops. Did 
Did I take the redstone wire all the way back into the other chest and then put it away? I don't remember doing that. I might have. I don't think I used the last of it. I feel like I would remember using the last of it. How do you get this mod? Uh, you can download it off the Twitch launcher or whatever the current launcher is now. Yeah, I think that's all we need. Okay, so if we, as soon as we put an inserter here, we should be making these faster. Oh, I should probably put a speed upgrade in that too. Oh, I put those away too. No! Oh yeah, set the connector to output, I'll do them. Speed upgrade, speed upgrade. And out, whoop. Output, cam. Perfect. So when that runs low, both of these should turn on. Why is this still got a backlog? What's going on with this? What the heck? I'm not sure why that's backlogged. I'm sure there's a reason. I don't know what that reason is. Did we run out of iron? Okay. Two more stacks of redstone, three more stacks, probably four more stacks of iron blocks. Um, is it Davi? Davig LS? Thank you for resubscribing for two months. Appreciate you. Yeah, we're gonna have to do something about larger storage there. Dude, we have 10,000 iron blocks. That's a lot of iron blocks. Am I planning one day moving everything inside? You mean these machines that are sitting out here? Yeah, these are temporary. These aren't gonna be sitting out here for forever, I don't think. At least that's the plan. How's our filters doing? Fine on that for now. Let's check our smelting room. Okay, we're out of filter on that one. Yo. When I zoom in, my cursor moves so fast. I wanted to grab clean filters. Okay, 
good enough. And then the rest of them are going to come over here to this. Still not that many. But that'll have to do for now. Uh, coal. Coal. So it looks like this is the one that's being used most and the other one's being used less frequently. I'll grab one more stack of coal blocks. A stack and a half, maybe. Let's grab two stacks. How do I say my Twitch name? My Twitch name. That's how I see it. <laughs> Got him. My name is pronounced just like the word, except with a missing E, hypnotized. I guess I should have grabbed two more stacks of copper while I was over there, too. Hey, your Twitch name. How you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Give me. So you're telling me I've been saying you're wrong this whole time. I don't know. How have you been saying it? You've always said Jessica? Yeah, yeah. I can see how you've been saying it incorrectly this whole time. Uh, pretty sure my name isn't spelled anything like Jessica, but, you know, may maybe in a different language or a different region. I, I guess I can see it, maybe. Some people have unique spelling. Oh, that doesn't go in there. Stop it. I also have an extra copper plate. You go in there. I have some extra iron gears. Those can come over here into this chest. All right, so now that we have everything up and running, almost four stacks of that, almost three stacks of this. I think these produce the research at the same speed. 
Yeah, we're full up on green and we're full up on red. I think those produce at the same speed. Um, but we hooked up red research earlier last live stream. Oh yeah, speaking about this spider, we need to put these gloso nooks up here. Prevent things from spawning in this area. Okay. I think that does that. Should get any spots in here. Do, do, do. And this is chewing through iron quite quickly, gotta say. Well, here's the deal as well. Like we can only produce research so fast. So as you can see over here, like we're full on green science. That means that this machine, when this thing, you know, can't output anymore and it can't craft anymore, like the inserters that are going in here are gonna back up. So that'll stop this and we'll we'll end up making all of this stuff a lot more slowly and we'll use a lot less resources eventually when things back up but i don't know how long that's gonna be this setup looks confusing just make plate gears other stuff we're making plates we're turning plates into gears we're taking these gears and we're turning those into conveyor belts gears plus plates equal conveyor belt those conveyor belts are coming along here you can kind of see them on this belt so those conveyor belts are coming over into this machine and getting combined with inserters and those are making green science pack the inserters also require gr basic control circuit the green circuit so we're making green circuits here with these copper wire things and redstone and iron plates. So we're making plates, we're making gears, we're making green circuits, we're making inserters, we're making conveyor belts, and then we're turning all of that into red science, green science. Yeah. It looks confusing because it is a little bit. Next up, blue science. That's going to take a little bit of time, I do expect. This I don't like either. I think we need to put blocks here. Or maybe the windows need to move over one. Yeah, I think somebody had mentioned that we should do this as a 5x3 yesterday or 3x5. And I think that right there, the fact that there is no, like, outline on the inside of the building. I think that's going to make me do three by three. So let's get that finished up. And we'll put some glass panes and actually finish the building. We'll let that run in the background for a little while. I'm glad you like the setup, uh, Lord. That should be enough. And then I need the um, slag stone brick. Yeah. I guess I can turn block sounds back on or back up. I have those turned down because the metal presses that we're running in there get very, very annoying listening to them for long periods of time.
I'm almost thinking we just do like a little slit window like that. I almost feel like this building needs a roof to give it a little bit more something to look at. Like we did the flat ceiling on this and I didn't even try that before, but like I'm so used to seeing these buildings with like the higher up portion. I mean, we could just do something a little bit more like this, I guess, where it doesn't need to be super high ceiling. I don't know. But there's something about that that just looks odd. Pollution new building? No, we don't get pollution here. None of these machines produce pollution. That's why we didn't go with a roof design like that. All right, I'm gonna throw all these away. These are all the duped things. Um, I think we can start taking these resources out of here. How's the iron? Oh my goodness, that's chewing through iron so fast. Okay, so we'll go restock this up and then we gotta go look at collecting wood. That's like our next big thing that we have to do. Sir Guy with a 40 month reset. Welcome back, dude. Thank you for the 40. Appreciate that support. I can go in here and all that. You, that, that. Uh, those. That, you. I guess that inserter will go in there. We don't need this on us anymore or that. Dirt down into Hyam. Redstone, copper, and iron. I could do forestry for a wood farm if I had all the materials to make a forestry wood farm. Don't you need like appetite and stuff like that for that? We don't have any appetite. <laughs> Forestry is locked down until blue science. There you go. I'm going to grab some extra blocks and we'll keep them over there. So I guess I'm going to bring that chest back that I took out of there just so I don't have to run back and forth because I'm going to run over there again later and check on it and be like, oh crap, I need resources and we'll have them right there. Eventually we'll have this all automated where like these resources will just be fed into the building and I won't need any manual stuff. Oh, I keep doing that. I keep running over this. I shouldn't do that. the sound redstone copper okay, all of this stuff is just going to go in here that's just for later let's get out of here Look at all of them. My little army of inserters. What is... Missing input item. How are we missing input item? I guess it doesn't matter. 
we're backing up on stuff anyway, and we're basically full on this. It doesn't really matter. Hello, Ben. All right, Essie, we'll see you later. Have a good sleep. Um, yeah, I would love to do an automated wood farm. We just don't have the ability to do that right now. But we absolutely need to farm up a little bit more wood. Uh, D1 Ronin with a four month Risa. Welcome back, Ronin. Thank you so much for the four months, my dude. Appreciate you. How's Max today? Very warm, soft, and fluffy. So I guess the next thing that we need to do now that red and green is like completely taken care of. It's just a matter of getting the research to come in automatically and keeping the resources fed over there. We probably should take a look at blue research and see what that's going to take. Because we looked at that earlier on, I think, a little bit and I saw that it took oil and that's about as far as we got. Max is a marshmallow? Rude. Max is a fluffy, fluffy, adorable kitty cat. Look, he's not fat. He's actually fluffy. If I shave Max, like, he would look probably like one of those underfed, starved animals. No, I wouldn't. I actually feed him real well. But he's like mostly fluff, is what I'm trying to say. Am I gonna make a new building for blue research? Of course, but before I go and make a building, I need to like understand what blue research is going to entail. And we'll probably come up with a design and creative before we build it here in uh, survival, like we did with the blue, or I'm sorry, the red green research. That way it's just a matter of like getting a parts list together. And not like building something, tearing it down, building something, tearing it down, building something. Remember, oh, this needs to be over there, moving it, like, that's not what I want to do. I want to know, like, the design, how I want it done, the size of the building that needs to be made, and then get a parts list together so I can make all the things that I need and then start building. Otherwise, it just becomes too much. Like, even though the red and green, like, in the grand scheme of things, is pretty much a very simple, like, production line to get going, like, if I didn't do it in creative mode, I would have gotten super frustrated, like building something, finding it didn't work, then trying to figure out how to make it work, and then doing all sorts of like patches to make it work. When like just rebuilding the entire thing from scratch in creative and putting everything where you want it is probably the best way to go. So.
Wet cats are both hilarious and horrifying. I've only gotten Max wet once. Like, he's never had a bath before. He's never needed it. Cats pretty much clean themselves. But a couple of months ago, I made some pancakes. And I ate said pancakes. And I put my plate on the coffee table in front of me after I was done eating my pancakes. And there was syrup on the plate. And Max comes over. Like he always does, like, oh, you're done eating? He stands right in front of me with his fluff tail up and then flops it over right onto the plate of syrup. And then he realized something was sticky, so it kind of startled him, so I moved a little bit and it pulled the plate off the table onto the floor, which made a loud crashing sound, which really startled him, and then he booked it. But anyway, like his tail was full of pancake syrup, and then because he was running around, it like got all matted up. So I had to like grab him and bring him over to the sink and run water on his tail to get it all out of there. And he hated every second of it. <laughs> so I learned two lessons that day. Don't leave dirty plates around that are potentially sticky that Max can flop his tail in. And two, don't ever try and wash Max again. <laughs> Just not worth it. Just not worth it. He smelled like maple syrup. Not even joking. He smelled like maple syrup for probably about three weeks after that. The easiest way to give a cat a bath is put a little soap and the cat in the toilet with the lid down and flush it a couple of times. What the actual? No, no, no. I wasn't even trying to give Max a bath. I was just trying to get his tail a little wet so I could like try and get the sticky syrup out of his tail. I have never heard of anybody putting a cat in a toilet and flushing it to, to bathe them. That sounds like cruel, cruelty to animals to me. It's so dark, well it's nighttime, we can't sleep in this mod pack and I need, I need wood. So, I apologize, we're almost done here. In fact, I think that's the last tree we're gonna chop for now. Just put the cat in the washing machine, put it in the dirty setting. Just be sure, especially if you have a super fluffy cat, not to put it in the dryer on fluff dry. Your cat will get so fluffy, it'll just float away and you'll never see it again. Be like, what's her name in Harry Potter? Look at all this research we can now take out of here and go put it into their respective chests. Bum, bum, bum. Man, that's looking real good. Wow, we are already out of iron. No, we're gonna need more than that. How much of that stuff do you need? Well, see, the thing is, these research is how you unlock stuff in your quest book, right? So if I wanted to unlock bio generators, Oh, actually, I guess that's not a good example. Let's go to automation. So if I want to do remote monitoring, I need 50 red, 50 green. 
If I want to do automated farming, which does require blue research, you can see the little blue icon on there. I'm gonna need 100 red and 100 green plus 100 blue, right? So we need lots of this stuff. Flight, 200 of each. Robotics, 150 of each. Seventy-five of each to get into rails, and then these don't even have the icons on there. Like I guess the mod pack author got bored with doing that. I'm not sure, but like a lot of these require us to have blue. So if I wanted to get into ore excavation, that's two hundred each. This is probably something we should start looking at. Uh, do we have oil advanced oil processing? This. Oh, that's the distillation tower. Is that the pump jack too? Or do we have access to the pump jack already? I'm not sure. Yes, I have considered that night on fire. Uh, we're not there yet. But anyway, this is a thing that we need running for a long time. So these stuff all fill up. In fact, I should probably make bigger chests. I don't think we need the steel chest, but maybe something like an iron or a gold chest. I'm not sure that's copper, iron, silver, gold. Yeah, I don't know. And in, in the iron chest mod, Copper and iron size, I think, are the same, and silver and gold are the same. There's only... I don't know how that progresses in this particular mod. But I don't think I need a steel chest, because that seems excessive. That's this size. I don't think we need that full of research. What does it take to start with blue? Uh, we haven't even gotten to that point yet. I haven't even looked at it. I don't know. Electric furnace is going to require blue. External heating requires blue and production research purple. So there's like a lot of stuff that we're going to have to get set up here. Power distribution too. So getting into high voltage is going to require blue. Um... Exchanging gadget, man, that's 250 of each. Shut the front door. No, really, shut it. Nanotechnology. And then there's challenges. Woo! This is gonna get fun. Um, so I guess one thing that we need to do. We are going to need what you call it. Uh, the compactors, because I'm gonna wanna bring blocks over and then have the blocks get converted into ingots, either by piping them over or bringing chests of those in of the blocks over. So we're gonna need the compactors. So that requires a steel gear and four pistons. So I need three steel gears. 12 pistons and then some red stone Damn. Do, do, do. do I ever play any Roblox games? I've never once played Roblox Never once did Roblox. K-Mac with a nine month resub. Welcome back, dude. Thank you for the nine months. Do you think I have extra compactors? You're right. 
I'm sure we're gonna get use out of them. So even though I just made three of them and we only need one, I'm sure I'm gonna get use out of it to find them. Um, so yeah, let's get this figured out. So I am gonna need three of those, three of these. Uh, probably three more inserters. We can grab the other ones from inside the, the room. I think what we're going to do is instead of having our current inserters grab like the redstone dust out of the chest, they're going to grab the redstone dust from this compactor and the compactor is going to be fed in redstone blocks and it will uncompact the stuff. I think that's how we're going to change this up. So I might need another MV relay. We'll figure out how this is all going to go here in a little bit since I've never done this before. Let's turn down, oop, not that, turn on this. So let's start with something simple like redstone. Yeah, so that's gonna need this here. This will be set to single item. And I don't have any redstone blocks to test. Actually, I do have a redstone block. So we put a redstone block in there with some power that should turn into dust and then this compact or i'm sorry this inserter should be able to grab that let's give this a test um wire relay I'm gonna need another MV wire. Yep. So now if I just put in redstone blocks into here, that all gets converted into dust and then this grabs the dust. So then we just need to put blocks into this chest or I guess into this compactor and then we all good. So this guy, we do only single item, iron blocks, that guy, that guy. I guess I need to turn that off. Okay. Oh, learn something. All right, so this guy. So now I can take all three of these and fill them up full of their respective blocks. You have a cat remix stuck in your head. Interesting. Whoa, 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 weaponize. Do you have enough redstone? That's not enough redstone, is it? We need to get like our redstone game going. I need to up that. We have more stuff.
Can I load those with the crates? I don't understand your question. These could all use speed upgrades too. Okay, so this is full. And for now, I think we're just gonna leave these single spot chests. I think eventually I'll probably leave a wooden storage crate here at all times, and then when we swap them out, we'll replace with like an empty one. I think that's how we're gonna do this in the future. How are we doing over here? You know, I think that's gonna be fine for now. I really don't wanna put all of my redstone over in that one building. I'd like to have some here. How does ore work on this pack? Can you ask your question in a less ambiguous way? Because I don't understand what you're asking. So this iron needs to come out of here. And now I need to figure out which one is iron. So that's copper. That's redstone. So this one's got to be iron. How do I tell it to not do that? Hmm, there's got to be a way to tell this thing to stop being dumb. No, oh, no. We're going to have a big mess to clean up here in a little bit. No, the nuggets weren't there. I need to go clean my inventory. I don't got room for this crap. No, make ingots, make, make that. The Twitch police gifting two subs. Thank you so much for the gifted subs, dude. Let me see what's going on here. So recursive compacting disabled. I get rid of that. We get more nuggets. It's just making nuggets. This is only making nuggets.
Yo, why is there still nuggets in here? Oh my god, what's going on? Let's try this with like one iron block. Yeah, because it didn't even touch any of these. So I'm not sure what's going on here now. So if I put a block in here with this button that way, we get nuggets. If I put a block in there with it this way. Okay, so this button has to be pressed. Okay. So that means we need to do that on all of these before I screw things up. So our redstone line. And our copper line. Why is that not doing anything here? Oh, I didn't set this button. There we go. Got it. Okay, so before we do anything else, I gotta go clean up this mess that I made. Okay, we can put the inserter back now, I think. There we go. There we go. Now we're good. So I don't understand why that compactor like had so many ingots or nuggets queued up that doesn't make sense to me Do I have another work table? I just need a compactor for the nuggets. Oh, well, we'll be fine. I just need a crafting table over here. Annoying. Okay. So now I guess we don't need this chest over here. Oh wow, this is okay. So the entire chest is going to end up in this inventory. Interesting. Do I know how to make a crusher from immersive? Yes. 
Are you asking me to explain it to you? No. What you should do is go into the book for immersive engineering and in there it'll show you a diagram and tell you all the parts that you need. Just search for it. Twitch police just gifted a sub to Bola Rosa. Twitch police, dude, thank you for the gift subs. Appreciate it. Bum, 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 bum. I can't just make crafting tables. That's something that's limited in this pack. Because reasons. Sometimes I question the mod pack author's intentions. Like, locking out the ability to make crafting tables is something I don't personally agree with. But I'm not the mod pack author. I didn't even look to see the sulfur in here. And we are completely full on sulfur. So that means this one is grabbing all of the sulfur pollution. That is definitely a thing that we should fix. And I also put the clean filters in here. And let's go check the ones downstairs as well. Do I ever make my own mod packs? No. So last thing I want to do is be tech support for a mod pack on Twitch. Maybe if I didn't do YouTube and I didn't stream, I would consider making my own mod pack, but... I don't want to be the go-to guy for every time somebody can't load a pack or can't download it or can't this or can't that. No intention of being that guy ever. It must feel good to shoot creepers right in the face. It is a very satisfying feeling. I have to admit. Uh, so redstone is a thing that we need. Did we set up our belt over here? to accept redstone and pass that through? I can't remember. I guess it wouldn't be there. It would be at our main input in this building. I feel like we did set this up, but I can't remember. Yeah, so on the bottom side, if we get redstone, that goes here and over into this building to be compacted. So, I know we have a redstone thing. We should probably get this hooked up, too. I think it was right here. 20,000 redstone units. We should get this one going again. Maybe do a double whammy. Just connect it right up to that belt. Belt. I need to make some hoppers in order to do this properly.
All right, so Hopper. So we're going to do this. How do we get Podzel there? What the heck? We'll do belt, belt. This one we're going to output onto this face. This one we're going to output onto this face. And then we're going to do hopper, hopper. And then this belt, we can just run forward one block and then bring it up. Actually, we can just leave it in the ground. That way we're not having to worry about it too much over here. Yeah, then we'll just connect it right here. Alright, then we just need to bring the power down and then we should be good. I guess I can turn off that other one that says hard and stone over there too. All right. Okay, so we are jamming up a bit here. I'm pretty sure we can solve that by having these items go into a chest and then have an inserter. We might do that here. This one's almost done. I'm just kind of, yeah, it is backing up far enough. Okay, so we are definitely going to have to fix that. And then I also have to get some uh, filters on these other miners that we just set up. Yeah, let me out. Let me out. Okay, so that should take care of any pollution that happens to be over here. Um, so a chest and an inserter. I think we'll do something like right here. Stop it right there. This will just go into a chest and then we'll use an inserter from there to there. We'll put a speed upgrade in there so it goes a little bit faster, but that way we have far few like stacks of items on this belt. That should unclog it a bit. We could probably do the same thing here. Tubby Pure with a 32 month resub. Welcome back, Tubby. Thank you so much for the 32 months. 
Appreciate you, dude. The only thing is, I don't have another speed upgrade for the inserter, so let's go make another speed upgrade and we'll like change that other one a little bit. It was some of those and some of these. I don't remember how much. We'll just let this. We'll let this thing go since we don't really have to worry about it too much. It'll just take care of itself. I need some iron ingots. I guess I can grab some from over here. Just inserter. And a speed upgrade. So now we have far few items on this belt. Is ever gonna grab this hardened stone is the question. RDM with a 19 month reset. Welcome back, RDM. Thank you for the 19, dude. Hope all is well. All is well. Uh, Cameron, thank you for the bits. You don't have anybody else to sub with your Twitch Prime, so you figure you keep giving it to me since your videos are informative and help when you don't know what to do. Well, glad, glad you find my videos informative, dude. And that's the only reason why you're giving me the Twitch Prime. It's not because you like my content. It's you just don't have anybody else to give it to you. That's cool. I get it. Thanks. I guess. I guess. I guess. So it's not grabbing this hardened stone. So eventually this chest is going to fill up full of hardened stone. They won't be able to accept anything else. And then it'll grab it, I think. But that's not... I wish there was a way that you could tell this thing to alternate. I suppose the only way that we could do it with our current setup here would be something would be do would to be to do something silly like this with another inserter. I guess. And it's still just grabbing iron. Are you kidding me? Okay, grab some heart and stone that time. This is so silly. Anyway, we're not clogging up on the belt anymore, so I guess that's good. So redstone is going down underground into this building, into our compactor. And it's all coming along this line here and turning into redstone blocks. Whitelist stone? Is there a way to blacklist? I don't, I don't never even mess with that stuff on these. Oh yeah, yeah, blacklist. So we can blacklist iron.
So that should only grab stone or diamonds. Ah, that's much better. And then we'll whitelist iron. There we go. There we go. Now these things are a little bit more smarter. I like it. Oh, are my smelters off? Let's take a look at that. Yep. I don't think you can do splitters with those belts. I see you keep asking about splitters. I don't think those belts you can use splitters with. Dude, I just put those things away accidentally. I think splitters only work with the immersive engineering belts, not the magnetic craft ones. Actually, that's not true. We're using a splitter over here with the magnetic craft ones, uh, but you can only like output one item to the bottom. So yeah, we, or I'm sorry, not splitter, item router. So we could technically use those if we wanted to, but. The way I have it set up right now is working and I'm good. Uh, I needed the crate. That's not what I wanted. I guess these could, we could put some speed upgrades in. Not that that really matters, but now that we can freely make them, I don't see why we shouldn't do that. Um, I don't know why that was hard for me to think. Been playing this pack too long today, apparently. Just trying to think about little things like that. I was like, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? It's a little better. <clears throat> yeah, we need that redstone a little bit higher than that. So four stacks of these, and then we can get our smelters going again. What mod packs do I have plans for in the future? I don't have any plans for any mod packs in the future. Hey, it stopped raining. Oh, there's a zombie. Hey, you better run, zombie. Did you forget about me? Yeah, unfortunately, this game isn't like this. This mod pack is based on Factorio, 
but like if you play Factorio and then you're coming to this, it's gonna be a little different. Like this is Factorio in a modded Minecraft way. So just because something works in Factorio doesn't mean that it's gonna be able to to be workable here. Um And make sure we get these things going, keep our pollution under control. Like, this does a pretty good job of like emulating the production line. I believe? I'm not a Factorio expert. Um, it's very similar, but it's not the same. Do you pay for mod packs? No, all modded Minecraft is 100% free. Can only be done in the Java edition of the game though. Am I gonna automate the filters at some point or is it not worth it in this pack? We'll probably do it at some point, probably. I really should make some more filters. I keep like waiting on more filters to be made. Okay, so as I was just running under here, I saw like this one item going across and I was like, wait, wait, are we out of iron? But I turn around and I see the iron right there. I was like, wait a second here. Um, I know we were just back here in this building, but I didn't take a look at the resources. I'm just trying to get an idea of how long I can go between filling these up. Okay, so we're out of iron. Oh, wait, no. So I guess if we get another thing of iron and copper, we'll be good for a long time. I'm not so sure about the redstone though. Yeah, filters is the other thing that we're gonna be making here in just a moment. But I wanna make sure that building is constantly running. Uh, which one? What playlist is this on? It's on my own personal playlist. This is all monster cat music. You can find it all online. But this is all running from my local computer. It's not available for you to like type in a YouTube or anything. Damn. So we should be good on this for quite some time. Yeah, that's backed up. That's good to see. That's backed up. That's backed up. I assume this is backed up. Why are we still making gears over here? I guess everything literally just backed up. Oh, that's looking real good, guys. That's looking real good. I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased. I'm not sure if you can make this setup any better than what we currently have at this particular stage of the game. I know eventually you can use pipes and stuff. We don't have those unlocked. 
But I think this is probably about as good as you can get this set up right now. And this makes me real happy that we have it set up in such a way. What's that burp sound? That's the sound of Minecraft eating food. Every time you eat food, it makes a burp sound. We have an auto feeding thing. So it eats the food that's in this inventory right here automatically. So you'll hear that burping sound every now and again when it eats a piece of bread. Speaking of, we should go harvest this wheat and then we should make those filters. There's no way of speeding that last step of getting the research points. Not that I'm aware of other than making more of the laboratory. Oh, uh, I should go grab that sickle. Wish I had it on me. Do I think I might play Igmatica 2 in the future? No. You can go to my YouTube channel. I did a Manica 2 Expert on there. I have no intention of like playing it again. Death Strider 3 win. Man, if we could get enchantments going, that'd be pretty good. I just don't know I wanna if I wanna waste time worrying about that. They would be very nice, though. No, I didn't play it on stream. I played it on my actual YouTube channel. Wait, this doesn't work? Oh, I have to left click and then I have to replant. Maybe it's not worth grabbing this thing. But I guess we're in summer now, boys. Advanced lab is like 30% faster. Can I make advanced lab? Don't I need blue research for that? I don't know. As far as I know, I can make the laboratory, which I have made, and that's what we're currently using. Do I stream any other content on my Twitch? Are you talking about other games? I mean, you can go to the about section of the live stream and look at all the previous played games that we've done here, if that's what you're asking. If you're talking about, do I do like IRL streams or play music? Or anything like that, no? I don't do cooking streams. Delete, delete, close the book. I don't need this ore thing in my inventory anymore either. And oh, Dave with 300 bits. Love your videos, man. Been a sub on YouTube for over two years now. Thanks for the sick.
content. You are welcome, my dude. Thanks for your support. What's my favorite part of Manufactio so far? Uh, well... There's a lot of things that I don't like. What I do like about the pack, though, is... How different it is from normal modded Minecraft stuff. I think it's unique enough that I like it. Uh, filters. We wanted to make a whole bunch more of the carbon filters. So I need steel plates, plastic sheets, and gas filter. Um... How do you make steel in this pack again? Actually, never mind. Dumb question. I think we already have some steel made. I was I was thinking that was the only steel we had, but I know we have more. Where do I buy my hat at the store? You know what, I think we'll do this much. Okay, so we have those being made and then we are also going to need plastic sheets. So four stacks of plastic sheets. Easy. And then we are going to need four stacks of gas filters. So iron nuggets around part, around pow, pow, eh, pulverized charcoal. Remember all that wood that we chopped down? Yeah, about all that wood that we chopped down. We get chopped down more. I didn't work out uh, any branding or logo yet. That is really something that I should get figured out here sooner rather than later. Um, these guys. I'm open for suggestions too. Like those of you who have access to the Discord. I'm having a hard time thinking about simple things. Why am I growing trees at nighttime every time? Here, put some light down. Actually, I don't think that'll work there. Do, 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 do. There we go. No, this mod pack doesn't have uh, the Torque mod in it. Not like it's really hard though with, you know, killing skeletons, getting bones and bone meal and stuff.
What part of this pack do I like the least? I'd probably say the limitation on making crafting tables. As silly as that seems. But I think that is something that I don't like. I don't like a lot. Eventually we'll be able to do some automated wood chopping using forestry once we unlock it. Right now, it's with an ax. Dude, I heard that crusher as I was running over here, and I was like, what is that sound? And I almost thought that was like the sound of phantoms. But this isn't 114 or higher. But I almost thought that was the sound of a phantom flapping its wings. How hard is this mod pack to get into? It's not that hard. You start small and then you keep like unlocking progression as you go. And then I need these. And those all go into the assembler. This one. That. That. Oh, no, no, no. I have to take uh, iron and wrap it around this. Now we're making a stack of carbon filters. Is this mod like Factorio? Yes, this mod pack is inspired by Factorio. There's some similarities, and then there's some dissimilarities. Is that a word? Dissimilarity? Differences? Yeah, maybe that's the word that I should use instead of dissimilarity. Who did it? I can't even see. Give the boot with a $100 donation, dude. Thank you so much. I've been watching you on YouTube for a long time and you picked me up when I felt down. Thank you for the hours of entertainment you have given me. You are welcome. That is way more than you should be giving. Thank you, give the boot. Appreciate you. That is a lot of money.
But I'm glad my content can help you out. If even just a little bit. Oh, I didn't put it. That's right. I thought I put all four stacks in there. I haven't done that yet. The one thing I will say, though, if you're going to be starting this pack is to figure out how to get to pollution, like dealing with pollution as fast as possible. Because at the start of this pack, you have no way to deal with pollution. Like right now we're filtering it off. So all the carbon gets filtered, all of our sulfur gets filtered, and then we're got to clean these filters. But at the start of the pack, you start generating these pollution blocks up here. Like you can see, there's a lot of them over there. Those little yellow things. And at first it's not a big deal. It's like, ooh, we get extra things in the sky that are floating around. And then it rains. And those pollution starts turning into acid rain, which... Are we having power fluctuations? What's going on? Oh, it's the sky doing a weird thing. Anyway, uh, the sulfur pollution will eventually turn into acid rain, which will then start creating um, polluted earth. And the polluted earth will spawn monsters nearby your base. And the polluted earth will also spread and if you like so happen to not really pay attention to it you're gonna have a bad time because it's gonna take over your world and then you're gonna be spending so much time with pollution cleanup instead of like moving on with the pack that you're gonna hate the pack so like the very first thing you should do when you're starting this particular mod pack is look at rushing into getting pollution taken care of as fast as possible making these filters and all of that kind of stuff. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I guess I should check the filters on these guys. Yeah, a little bit of carbon. I don't know if these are producing any sulfur pollution. Oh yeah, there is some sulfur pollution in there. The flowers will take care of the carbon pollution. There's two different types of pollution. There's the yellow pollution, which is what will really destroy your world by making uh, the polluted earth, polluted water, destroying your grass, turning grass into dirt, turning dirt into coarse dirt, that kind of stuff. Like that will make your world just kind of awful. Uh, the carbon pollution will sit up in the sky and try and bone meal stuff below it. And that'll just spawn like tall grass and stuff, which is fine. You just break it, it's annoying to deal with, but you can not just get rid of it. But really, the carbon pollution is mild. It's the sulfur pollution that's going to really give you long-term effects if you don't deal with it. Oh, that is wrong. Yeah, that link, I think, is wrong. It'll take you to the right place to tip, but, like, you won't get a notification for that. Um... I don't know if one of the mods can take care of that for me. Nighthawk, a year round, can you update the tip command? I didn't even know that was a command. Or any of the other mods, I guess. I think Nighthawk was the only one that I saw speak recently. If not, I can update it. But yeah, don't use that one. Uh, below the stream or in the about section is the correct link to use. Good here. 
There is applied energistics in this mod pack, but it's locked out until later. Feed the chunk with a 37 month resub. Happy belated birthday. Thanks, dude. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting a decent amount of redstone in here. That's good. That's good. This pack seems nuts. That's it. Let that fill back up. It's been a minute since you've seen Nighthawk. Well, I don't have the link in front of me, but it's in, it's linked below the stream. The little banner that says stream tip is the correct one. Sexy nerd power still takes me a minute. Sexy nerd power with the five month resub. Welcome back, dude. Thank you for the five months of support. I appreciate it. Thanks for dropping the prime. Uh, so filters, we needed this stuff. So I need a little bit more of the iron. I think that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. So that, 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 and then we do that, 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 and that, that, that. In my opinion, what type of crafting does refined storage do better than applied energistics? Nothing. The only thing refined storage does better than applied energistics is that it doesn't have a limitation on types for the different discs. Like every item is one byte or something on the disc. So however big the disc is, is how many items it stores. Whereas applied energistics, you can only put on 63 unique types onto each different disc. And that's literally the only thing I feel like that's better about refined storage than applied energistics. Do I know what will be the next triple A game that I'll want to play besides Cyberpunk? Uh, the Witcher 3. We're going to be giving that a full playthrough, I think, towards the end of September. We're going to do a full playthrough of The Witcher 3, the main game and both DLCs, before Cyberpunk comes out. So that's the next AAA game that I know of that we're going to be playing. If you're talking about brand new AAA game that has not released yet, I don't know. Okay, having a whole bunch of extra of those filters is good. Mr. Daddy Man Guy, thank you for the bits. Oh yeah, uh, Refined Storage also has the ability to break blocks to mine blocks with fortune. That is correct. That is the other... Okay, so there's two things that I like about Refined Storage. That doesn't mean that I like the mod better, but I like those features. Being able to break blocks with fortune and the storage doesn't have the type limitations. But like everything else, literally, Applied Energistics does better. Uh, 
I think there's only 200 diamonds in that chunk, so it's not like this is going to fill up full of diamonds. And eventually, I'll just grab those. Not like we're waiting on diamonds or anything, so that's fine. We're not saying what the differences between the two mods are, Dawson. I'm trying to think of what else we should work on today, and I'm, like, just jumping around, bouncing around, just kind of, like, not really doing anything right now, trying to think about it. I think the next thing that we should probably start setting our mind to, now that pretty much everything is in a state where we don't have to, like, worry about it at the moment, uh, is blue science. Let's take a look. Let's actually look at this. And I'm done with this pack. So a motor is going to require us to make fluid pipes, iron gear, and steel. So one steel plate. That's actually not as bad. So to make a motor, so four fluid pipes are from one iron plate. That's actually pretty inexpensive. So one iron plate plus one assembler. This is gonna require, uh, I'm sorry, one metal press plus one assembler. This is gonna require us to have three metal presses. So that's a total of four and then five metal presses. So five metal presses to make a motor. Okay. Packaged power drill. Trying to get all of that figured out. That's going to take a minute. Uh, so six iron gears. So that is going to be 18 metal presses. Plus an additional five more. Oof. That's 23 metal presses, ladies and gentlemen. Plus five hardened stone, which we are currently collecting right now. So we have that on the way. Um, and then advanced control circuits. This is gonna be an entire live stream of just putting things together in creative mode. So to make these, we're gonna need plastic sheets, which we have some already made, so that's fine. But like, we're gonna have to automate this at some point in the future. More copper wires and more basic control circuits. So we have to do two control circuits plus, so we need five control circuits for every one of these. Yeah. That's pretty cheap. Uh, so we're gonna have to figure this out tomorrow. We'll probably do a creative live stream tomorrow, trying to get all this sorted, try and get this all figured out. How many of what machine we need, how we're going to lay these out, the size of the building that we're going to need. And once we get that all figured out, then we got to figure out where we're going to place it in our actual world here. It doesn't seem like it's that bad. The creeper. I wish the bullets in this traveled faster than they do. It seems like they travel really slow. 
Yeah, so it's one of each of these, but each of these does require a decent amount of stuff. Yep. So that'll be a thing that we work on next stream, I think. How big will that be? Well, we'll find out. I don't know. But we'll set it up in some kind of a, an orderly configuration like this. Where, like, everything has its own place. And we have the correct amount of metal presses for gears and wires and blah, 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 blah. But yeah, it's going to be a little bit bigger than this building, that's for sure. How are we doing on the actual research? Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad bad. I like seeing that. Three hundred blue and I can open item ducts and make things easier. Well, we'll see. Uh, 88 mm. We'll see. Since I've never played this pack before, I don't know how the progression goes. I don't know how splitting things up are going to affect things or not. But what I do know is that we're done with the pack for today, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me while we played some Manufactio. If you're new to the live stream, Monday through Friday, excluding Thursdays, starting at 2 p.m. Eastern. We'll be back tomorrow with another live stream. We'll be checking out exactly how we're going to think about possibly doing blue science. Green and red, we got under control. Easy peasy. Blue science going to be a whole other can of worms. We're going to try and tackle that tomorrow. Um, Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you guys for hanging out. Appreciate all the support today. Let me see if we got somebody who I can host up, raid, do whatevs. No, I don't. I literally have nobody. I don't have, guys, I don't have anybody. I don't have anybody. I'm going to host Max. Oh, wait, Max doesn't know how to stream. So I'm not going to host anybody. We're not going to raid anybody. I'm just going to let you guys go into the void of the twitch darkness with the stream off uh feel free to go to whoever you like but that's it for today hope you guys have a great rest of your day we'll see you next time bye bye guys